now, story time. The boy who cried wolf. In a village lived a carefree boy. Every day, he had to take the sheep to the grassy fields and watch them as they grazed. He wanted to run and play, not watch the boring sheep graze in the field. So he decided to have some fun. He cried, "Wolf! Wolf!" until the entire village came running with stones to chase away the wolf. When the villagers saw that there was no wolf, they left muttering under their breath about how the boy had wasted their time. The next day, the boy cried once more, "Wolf! Wolf!" and again. The villagers rushed there to chase the wolf away. The boy laughed at the fright he had caused. <laughs> This time, the villagers left angrily. The third day, as the boy went up the small hill, he suddenly saw a wolf attacking his sheep. He cried as hard as he could, "Wolf! Wolf! Wolf!" But not a single villager came to help him. The villagers thought that he was trying to fool them again, and did not come to rescue him or his sheep. The little boy lost many sheep that day, all because of his foolishness. Moral of the story: Never tell a lie. Fox and the Stork. One day, a selfish fox invited a stork for dinner. The stork was very happy with the invitation. She reached the fox's home on time and knocked at the door with her long beak. The fox took her to the dinner table and served some soup in shallow bowls for both of them. As the bowl was too shallow for the stork, she couldn't have soup at all. But the fox licked up his soup quickly. The stork was angry and upset, but she didn't show her anger and behaved politely. To teach a lesson to the fox, she then invited him for dinner the next day. She too served soup, but this time the soup was served in two tall, narrow bases. Stork devoured the soup from her base. But the fox couldn't drink any of it because of his narrow neck. The fox realized his mistake and went home famished. Moral of the story: A selfish act backfires sooner or later. The bird and the wise ant. Once a bird and an ant lived on a big tree. Every morning, wise ant went out in search of food and filled its food store a little. One day, the bird asked, "Why do you store food, dear ant? It's springtime and the food is in abundance. When the winter comes, there will be only snow and no food," replied the ant. The lazy bird did not bother and continued wasting time singing and flying. Soon, winter arrived, and snow covered the land. The ant, who had stored food, ate merrily. The bird was cold and hungry. She could not even find a twig. Moral of the story: There's a time for work and a time for play. Rabbit and the Hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a smart rabbit in the forest. One day, a cruel hunter came to the forest and started to look for animals. The hunter saw a burrow beside a big tree in which the rabbit used to live. He put his hands in the burrow and pulled the rabbit from inside of the burrow. The rabbit was scared, but he was brave. And asked the hunter to set him free. The hunter laughed at the rabbit and said, "You're so small and cannot do any harm to the big hunter." He put the rabbit inside his bag along with his water bottle. 
After an hour, the hunter felt thirsty and said, Oh, it's too hot. Let me drink some water. Rabbit heard the hunter and quickly opened his water bottle cap. Soon the bag was wet and all the water spilled out. The hunter said, Oh no, all my water is gone. What will I drink now? And started to empty the bag. As soon as he pulled the rabbit out of the bag, he jumped and ran as fast as he can. The hunter was left thirsty and empty-handed. Moral of the story, never judge anyone by size. The Knight and the Monster Once a noble king married to a very beautiful queen. Sadly, a huge monster with large wings carried the queen away. The brave king rode his horse and went after the dangerous monster, but the monster flew far, far away. On his way, the king found a deserted palace where a wounded old man lived all alone. The kind king nursed the old man and gave him some food. Soon the old man started feeling better and turned into a wizard. The old wizard was grateful and gave a magical dagger and blue wings to the king. The king soon reached the castle and found the queen. He stabbed the monster's heart with the magic dagger. The monster burned to ashes. Then the king used his wings to fly away with his queen. They both lived happily ever after. Moral of the story, a kindness is never wasted. The Tortoise and the Mouse Deep in the forest, a tortoise and his friend Mouse lived inside a wooden log. The mouse was too quick and never waited for the tortoise to eat all the fruits dropping from the trees around. The tortoise was slow and had to eat the leftovers. One day, the tortoise was too hungry and asked the mouse to wait for him and not finish the fruits quickly. The mouse retorted and made fun of tortoise's shell and did not allow him to get inside the wooden log. Soon, a hungry fox came in search of food and smelled an animal nearby. The fox picked up the tortoise to eat, but he quickly hides inside his shell. The shell was too hard for the fox to eat, and thus she threw the tortoise aside. The fox then angrily pulled the mouse from the log and ate it. The tortoise thanked God for giving him such a strong shell and lived happily inside the wooden log. Moral of the story, never make fun of anyone.